Hello, hello. Welcome to our Pilates session. Um, I just want to remind you that uh, kind of where we stand. We are reaching the end of our two-week period where we're doing one day on, one day off after 28 days of very, very intense workouts back to back. Um, and then we're, we're actually kind of prepping ourselves over these we're doing two things. Over the past two weeks, um, we've been also recovering and maintaining our new fitness level. I certainly feel very different after those 28 days. I feel a lot stronger, especially now that I am uh, in the recovery mode and wrapping it up. And I am also prepping us for our six-pack challenge coming up or six pack period of time or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's going to be, um, a very, very cool program that I've designed for us to deeply, deeply work our core and see major benefits and, and changes. And in order for that to happen, there's also a nutrition component to that program. Um, I have to figure out exactly, exactly how, we're going to do it and I'll let you know in the next few days, if you're doing this real time with me, um, then right now, what, what's the date right now? It is, um, February 13th, uh, 2023. And so if you're doing this real time with me, um, I still haven't figured out exactly <laughs> the constellation, but I am going to, and I'm, and I'm really working on it. Uh, it has been four days of, of a lot of, I guess it's playtime for Richie. It has been four uh, intense days uh, preparing, recording, and editing a relatively short podcast episode, but uh, that was very, very important to me. So if you are interested in uh, hopping on to Bodyholic with D, which is the podcast um, that I host, you will find that right now we are highly focused on longevity. And uh, this last episode was the opening episode of the longevity series where I talk about ageism, a uh, topic I'm very passionate about. And, um, I get, I get emotional. I get a little angry. Um, I talk about Madonna and, uh, you're welcome to check it out. And in general, I think the podcast, uh, really, really, really complements what we do here. So in general, I, I highly recommend it. All right, we're going to get into our Pilates session. It's pretty intense, and I need you to take this. Wow, he's in totally play for, and do that. Exactly. Just stay right there, though. All right. Just making sure we're actually rolling. All right, guys, we are going to start on all fours. And the first thing I want you to do is really make sure that we are in joint alignment. So the wrist should be under the shoulder. The knee should be under the hip joint. And then we're going to drop into the shoulder blades and then exhale, come out of it. Inhale, drop. Exhale, come up. Two more. One more. And then hold it right here, coming out of the shoulder blades, pushing the shoulders back and away from your ears. Reach the right hand forward, exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sweep it back, bring it forward. Left leg goes up, pointed, keep your abs tight. Exhale to bring hand to foot, foot to hand. Inhale, exhale again, and reach it. Then the knee and the hand come back down. Just the left hand comes out. I'm really pushing myself out of my right shoulder. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Sweep it back, keeping both shoulders away from the ears. Bring it forward. We've got the foot back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. One more. And inhale. Then from here, we're going to walk. So we're, I want you to stay on your knees. And if it's a little uncomfortable, then definitely pat up your knees. You're going to walk your hands forward. Squeeze the abs. Squeeze the butt. And then walk back. And you're going to go again, walk it forward, walk it back, walk it forward, walk it back. And again, 
walk it forward, walk it back, and then hold it right here. Right hand forward, left leg back, inhale, open up the right hand and the left leg, exhale, return, inhale, open, exhale, return, hold it right here. The leg isn't gonna move, just the arm. We're gonna exhale, bring it back, inhale, bring it forward, then bring it back, bring it forward. The knee and the hand go back down. The left hand comes up, the right leg goes up, inhale, open, exhale, close. Open and close. And then from here, we're just gonna sweep the hand, bring it up. Last time, bring it up. Dig both hands into the floor, the knee comes down. Once again, we walk forward. This time it's a bigger step forward. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt, and then walk back. Now I want the left hand first to come forward, and then the right. Bring the left back, then the right, then the right, then the left, then the right, then the left, then the left, then the right, the left, and right. Inhale to bring your chest and your butt up. Exhale to round it out. Oh, no, don't. And then bring it up and exhale, round it out. We are in full on rascal mode. Oh my God, you guys are seeing what a rascal he actually is. And we're gonna go onto our back now. Excuse you. Onto our back with pointed feet. So I want you to put on your imaginary high heels. Abs should be super tight. Butt should be super tight. And if the following is actually too, please, please don't eat my face or my hair. So if moving your legs on your tippy toes is too much, you can put your heels back down. So let's really challenge our balance here. Maybe we can even bring the hands up. So the right knee comes up and then we switch. So the hands can go back down if you feel like the balance work is too much. The heels can go down if you feel like it's too much. And we're gonna keep going for another four, three, oh my God, two, and one more. Now I want you to bring the right leg up. And <laughs> this is intense. He's usually sleeping in our workouts. So the heel, <laughs> Oh my God, the heel, the left heel is on the floor and then we bring it up. Heel down, bring it up, keeping everything really steady and we're gonna go for another five. Richie, you're being very intense right now. Three, two, one more. Hold it here, bring the right toes onto the floor, keep everything super tight and then it's heel down and up, down and up. Wow, he is all out in playful mode. Three, two, one more. Switch again so you're going to stay on your toes. Excuse you. That's Don't get fresh. This time, I want you to see if you can stay with your right leg straight up. Guys, I, I don't think I've ever worked out with Richie being this intense. Am I correct? Like, he's usually asleep. Am I right? <sighs> Oh my God, we're gonna go for another four. My client once said to me, let's see your mommy skills. How many things can you do at once? One more time and hold it here. Now the toes go on the floor, the left leg goes up, down and up, squeezing the butt. <sighs> Squeeze it. <sighs> Two more. Last time, we're gonna hold it here. Press your back into the floor. If straightening both legs up towards the ceiling hurts your back, please go into a tabletop position. If possible, you're gonna straighten. The hands are gonna be at the base of the skull if Richie lets me, which I feel like he's really not. And without moving your pelvis. Oh my God, he's full on. Did you have a cup of coffee today? What is going on? So I want you to keep your legs really steady and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven. You're ruining my new mat. Guys, save me. 
three, two, one. Now, see if we can hold it here way up with the shoulder blades. We drop one leg, lift it up, and switch. Lift it up. Don't ruin my mat. You keep ruining my mat. Oh my God, we are in full on puppy mode. <sighs> Usually, when I train, somehow it puts him to sleep. This is the exact opposite right now. Oh my God. <sighs> this is one for the books. I'm going to end up uploading this on YouTube just because I think he's being hilarious right now. We're going to go for two more. One more. And right into bicycles, side to side. So you can do this if you want, but if possible, it's straining. I feel like, I feel like this is a blooper workout with Richie. But I'm not going to stop because this is all I get for today's workout. I'm not going to have any other time to work out. Keep going for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <clears throat> oh my God, and release it. Richie, you are very intense today. I don't know if you can tell, but he's, he's just eating. Oh my God, he's like full-blown puppy mode. Move away from me a little. Give me some space. Oh my God. Okay, reaching, reaching for the stars. I feel like this is like one of the workouts I had with Niri when she was younger and she was all over me. All right, reaching for the stars. We're going to go all the way up or halfway up and then sit really nice and tall and then all the way back down. Engaging the pelvic floor, especially as you go up. one for the books. <laughs> so glad he didn't do this to me on one of the uh, build and strip days. Wow. <clears throat> Today's workout allows me to be able to take his puppy mode. <sighs> Two more. Here's the last one. And then as we go down, we're going to get ready for the heel touches. I feel like, I feel like I don't know what he's up to and got like this lurker. Oh my God. Okay. Heel touches. So if you need to place your hands at the base of the skull, it looks like this for support, uh, for if your neck is sensitive, but Otherwise, it's this, reaching and touching your heel. We're going to go for another eight. Shh, 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 and release. Back to bridge and balance. Hands up. The hands can be down, of course. Butt goes up, right leg on top of the left, and we gently tilt the butt towards the right. Exhale, return. Nine, eight, seven, really squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt, One more and we're not going to switch. So please stay with the legs the way they are and flex your right, your left leg, the ones that, that's on the floor. So just your heel should be on the floor. Inhale and exhale, really squeezing the left butt. Two more, one more. Now hold it here on the heel, okay? If it gets to be too much, you can put the entire foot down. And then tilt and return. 
tilt and return. Eight. Don't get fresh. Seven. Six. You're getting fresh. Five. Ah. Four. Wow. Driving me crazy. Three. There we go. He's going to calm down towards the end of the session, of course. Two. One more. Hold it here. Relax the butt just a little bit. Squeeze it. I know it's getting a little tough, but we're almost there. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Almost there, keeping the pelvis from dropping to the right. Three more. Two. One. Ah. <sighs> Oh my God, and relax. Whew. Oh, take a moment here, side to side. I'm working out the kinks. I'm like, I'm really working on my cognitive skills here, like being able to focus while there's a mad puppy here with me. All right, hands up, butt goes up. Inhale, tilt to the left. It's your left leg that's on your right. Exhale, return. Inhale, drop to the left. Exhale, return. We're going to go for another eight. I don't even know how you guys are focusing on me now. I would totally, if I had more time today, I would totally stop the workout and restart with him. Oh my God. Hold it here. Now, you want to really keep everything tight. The butt should be super squeezed. Then we flex, okay? And then inhale down, exhale up. This is like blooper Pilates right here. Three, leave me alone. Two, one more, and then hold it up. Oh my God. Ah, uh, tilt and exhale, return. Oh my God. Tilt and return. Full blown puppy mode. On your heel. So much for my new mat. Three, two, one. Hold it. Stop ruining my mat. Hold it. Relax the butt. Squeeze it. Relax and squeeze. I can't believe I'm getting my workout in no matter what at this point. Six, five. You're driving me crazy, Richie. Four, three. Two, last time, and then, oh, we release full on puppy mode. Wow. Getting ready for rolling like a ball. Now, you can do rolling like a ball like this, okay, and really make it small. It's totally ruining my mat. Or you can start completely bringing yourself up almost to touch the floor, and then inhale, bring it back. Exhale, bring it up. Blooper Pilates. Stop, you're totally, dude. Move, move. Oh my God. Oh, that's all I had to do. I just had to put him on the couch. Okay, rolling like a ball. You better believe I'm not gonna edit this out. I don't have enough time and I'm not gonna stop my workout. I'm gonna upload this. I might regret it. Oh my God. Four, three, two, one more time going right into the single leg stretch. So when we go down, the left leg comes forward, elbows out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Now let's straighten the leg that you're hugging. You can keep it bent. You can do this single leg stretch again. And it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What am I gonna do with you? You have never driven me this crazy in a workout. Oh my God, never. You are very, very lucky that you're cute. Extremely lucky that you're cute. Okay, guys, let's do that last part again. We're going to go for rolling like a ball. Okay, just chill for a sec, okay? Looking at his devious eyes. All right, rolling like a ball again. Really owning it at the top. One more time. And then from here, we're going to go right into the single leg stretch, getting the shoulder blades way up, way up. And then freeze. You can keep doing what you're doing or straighten the top leg. This time, let's go for a double pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. Why? Two and one more. Oh, leave me alone. I'm trying to go into bicycles. Come back up onto the couch. Why aren't you doing your regular thing where you go to sleep? Oh my God, bicycles. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Your butt goes down. Your feet go down. Exhale. Bring your butt up. The left foot is going to come to center. The right leg goes way up if possible. If it hurts your back, you can totally do this with your back against the floor in an imprint position. Flex lower. Point lift. Flex. Point. If you want to work your core harder, bring your hands up. We're going to go for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one. Keep your butt up, both feet go on the floor, and then you want to be about more than hip width apart, maybe even mat width, and really lift your chest, your belly, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. If you want to get a little deeper here, you can even put your hands under your lower back. And then gently release. The left leg is going to be on top of the right thigh. Hug your thigh towards you. And gently rock side to side. Of course, now, I knew it. The second we get into the stretching, he's going to be so chill. Oh, my God. Switch. I have to apologize. Like I, Oh, man, if I could have done that again. Without full-on puppy mode, I would have. And then release it. Now we're going to do a roll-up right into a stretch. So point your legs, legs together. Inhale, hands up. <sighs> Exhale, press your back into the floor. Flex and reach. And then slowly come on up. Sitting nice and tall, hands come over the head. The left hand is going to pull the right arm to the side. And release. 
over to the other side and release. The right arm circles back twice. And the left twice. We're going to end with a deep breath. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, release completely. I'm going to call this a blooper Pilates. Um, I hope you were able to focus. See, now, now, now he's getting ready for a nap. He's about to close his eyes. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. You are so lucky that you are extremely cute. Really, you're very, very lucky that you're extremely cute on so many levels. Really. Like I can't, I'm not even sleeping thanks to this little guy. Um, so I hope you were, you were able to focus. Um, and if not, you might want to replay and then now that you know what's going on, maybe put me on mute, put us on mute and just follow along um, or something along those lines. Let me know what you ended up doing. Thank you so much for joining me today and your patience. I apologize for the crazy puppy mode. Sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, no, tomorrow I'm taking a day off. I have a rest day planned for us. If you look at the blog and you follow along, then you know that. Um, so I'll see you the day after. Bye, guys.